Cardinal lobelia is a relatively rare plant in the Chicago region now just because of disturbances. Uh, runoff from urban areas uh, washes the seed away and the high water also covers the seed with silt and so the plants don't, uh, aren't able to reproduce very well and the adult plants don't live very long. They're a short-lived perennial but they're uh, one of the real important hummingbird uh, plants that produce uh, a lot of nectar and hummingbirds usually look for red flowered plants to feed on. Hummingbirds are birds that breed here but they also migrate through here in, in fairly large numbers especially in the fall of the year around uh, the end of August and through September and even as late as into November we can still see hummingbirds coming through. When hummingbirds are migrating because they have such a high metabolism they need to find patches of plants that are suitable for them to feed on uh, fairly frequently and that becomes a problem because of things like the cardinal lobelia not being common anymore that hummingbirds have a hard time finding enough resources to carry them through on their long migration. Oftentimes at night hummingbirds will go into a state of torpor because they, if they were to keep up their normal metabolism through the night they'd run out of fuel by the time morning comes around and they wouldn't survive. So they actually have to almost go into a state of hibernation to make it through the night, especially when the nights get cooler. And so first thing in the morning, they're usually really eager to find something to feed on to get their energy uh, back up again. Cardinal lobelia is, is important for them, but other things like Monarda, uh, which is uh, bergamot mint, is used by hummingbird. Jewelweed, which is a fairly common, uh, almost weedy native plant that you find in shady, damp areas is an annual plant with orange flowers and hummingbirds will feed on those. Uh, one of the problems we have with uh, jewelweed is that deer eat that plant a lot and they oftentimes take all the flowers off of the jewelweed that we have in our woodland and so that resource is gone for hummingbirds. As far as hummingbirds go at the Botanic Garden and in the region in general, the eastern United States has only one species of hummingbird for the most part is the ruby-throated hummingbird. The Botanic Garden in general is a really good spot to uh, watch birds, um, partly because there's so many different habitats represented here. We have prairies and woodlands. Uh, we have conifer plantings, so that attracts some of those species that normally are attracted to conifers, some of the warblers and birds that feed on the cones of conifers can be seen here, like crossbills. Um, we've even, even had uh, crossbills nesting here a few years. But uh, with the large amount of water we have here, we attract a lot of waterfowl and wading birds, the herons and egrets. Uh, later in the migration and in the springtime in May, end of May, we get a lot of uh, shorebirds coming through, the sandpipers and the um, killdeer and uh, other members of the shorebird group. But it's, it's primarily the diversity of habitats that we have here that attract so many birds. And then even uh, as a place to just sit and watch birds that fly over on migration because the Botanic Garden is located within that sort of narrow migration corridor along the west shore of Lake Michigan that a lot of birds are sort of channeling through here. Um, the westerly winds push them up against Lake Michigan and it concentrates them here along the lake. And um, so you can watch thousands of sandhill cranes come over late in the year. Uh, late October, early November, um, and then just a lot of other uh, birds are flying over. We have good hawk migrations here on uh, good migration days in the fall. Um, so in general, it's a, it's a good place to watch birds. There's, there's not many natural landscapes in the Chicago region, and so birds tend to get attracted to those uh, when they can find them. And a lot of birds even remember where these different stopover spots are. So, um, it's, it's a good concentration spot for seeing birds.